Welcome back to Extreme Outlaw, everyone. Jason here. Oh, when you reload it, I guess it gets rid of your other ship. But hey, hey, no worries. I'm, I'm going to show you guys. We still have the fighter as well as our uh, our hauler we got in the last episode. We are, oh my God, the last episode, we got so freaking lucky. So freaking lucky. So now, I mean, we need to find some graves. We need to get some upgrades going on here. Oh, yeah, I already checked all that. But I think the biggest thing is, the biggest factor is we need to get some more crashed ships. Because if we can get uh, an economy scanner, we can find a pirate system. If we get like an advanced mining beam, that'll help us out a ton. If we ever find a, uh, a corrupted system, that would be really good. What is this? Oh, that's not what we were looking for. Get out of here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry, I'm getting choked up here. So yeah, this is our extreme outlaw playthrough like solo play I, I call it solo just because it's not on you know i'm not streaming it you know you guys are watching it after the fact but i'm gonna try to do either very minimal or no edits at all like the last episode i did not edit whatsoever that way you guys know this is exactly how long it's taking me there's no like cuts or anything like that it might get to a point i'll start cutting it like if we are just going like forever with nothing happening i might need to trim some stuff but i'm gonna try to keep it as uh raw i guess as possible just because i want to make sure it's all like you guys see what i'm doing and how either lucky or unlucky i am that is not oh that's an abandoned building it looks like we can go into an abandoned building and get some nanites you know what we should do we should do that so this is an abandoned building now, we can't go use any of the computers because then they notify, you know, everything that's going on. But we can get some, uh, what do we got going on in here? Um, we really don't need this. It's only 2,000, so I'm going to keep that. I'm trying to make room in my inventory. That way we can pick up as many eggs as possible. What do we got going on here? What am I supposed to make? Oh, yeah, I got my glove, my gauntlet in the last one. Oh, wait a minute. No, we can, we can use this one, though. Okay. I hate the fact that they, they put that in your uh, log, so I hate the fact that they do that. If you learn a new blueprint, it automatically pins it. And you're like, okay, I don't need to know. I, you know, that's fine, but I don't need it. Don't automatically pin it. Let me choose that. I think this is all good. Okay, I think we have enough room. We have enough. So each stack is going to be three. I'm going to refill this and get rid of it. So we are going to be at three. Wait a minute. Can I do this? Nope. All right. Not have what I have in here. Oh, I have my gek nip. Okay. All right, all right. Anyway. So the rule is for abandoned buildings. Oh, let's see if we can get a, uh, we can get a, uh, microprocessor, please. Ah, uh, gek relic. That's a waste. All right. So the rule is we can go inside of abandoned buildings. However, we need to we need to get rid of all the eggs on the outside and the eggs on the outside. You don't have to like destroy them. You can just open them up and get the larval cores. I'm going to do that because larval cores will give you a lot of nanites. That's why I want it. So let's do that real fast. And boom. All right. Move, move, move. Don't get murdered. We don't have any upgrades. So this is really risky later on when I have some upgrades, it's not as bad, but man, right now we can get messed up real bad. No shield upgrades, none of that stuff. No health upgrades, nothing. Dun, dun, dun. Wait for me. Gonna hide behind it. Yep, there you go. You can't get me if, you, if I'm hiding behind it. Oh, God. Go, go, go. Yeah, see, I already lost half my shields. Holy crap. All right, I'm just trying to get some space between me and the other... The other oh, well, Jesus. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. Gotta go, gotta go. Man up. Go, 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 go. This is a good run. Don't, don't kill me. Don't kill me. I can't go inside. I can't go inside. All right. All right. We're good. We're good. We're good. Let that uh, shield recharge. Come on. Recharge your shields. We're just trying to outrun these guys. <laughs> so I can, there it goes. Oh, thank God. Oh. I thought I was dead. thought I was dead already. I was like, dude, we just got in here like five minutes in. And I'm going to get murdered by the biological horrors. Come on. 
Alrighty. Got that one. Do we have any more? Oh, we do. I just can't see him. Oh, God. That wasn't good. I was like, I can't see him. Nope. Don't pay attention to me, Sentinel. I'm not doing anything. You should go after these dang animals. They're trying to kill me. I don't see any eggs. We're good. We are cleaned up. There's no eggs on the outside. Get back in here. Beautiful. Oh, that was close. Oh, what the f Are you serious? Immediately as soon as they come in here? You suck. That's all right. We got enough oxygen. So let's uh, destroy this thing. Thank you for uh, messing me up. Much appreciated on that. Oh, come on. Really? Are you serious? Well, okay, I need my uh, thing back. It keeps breaking this one thing. <laughs> Why? All right. Wow, that was kind of a pain. So, let's do this. And then we're going to refine these. You can also sell it for money. But because we, we, have a, we have a couple of ships, we're good to go. We don't really need to get the money. We don't need the cash. We do need the nanites, though. So, we're going to refine all of these. Get, like, you know, four or five hundred nanites, which is good. I think... We need to get to around a thousand before we can really start buying some good stuff. So, I mean, yeah, we'll be able to get some good stuff later on. Anyway, yeah, we're up. Oh, we're almost at a thousand already. So we can also check these containers. Uh, battery. Okay, I'll take that, I guess. Nothing else. Oh, wait a minute. And there's no broken terminal in here. Usually they have one, but I guess not. All right. Or damaged machinery, whatever you want to call it. Um, drop pod, copper, nothing, nothing, nothing. All right, we're still looking for our microprocessors. That way, we can at least move. Oh, can I not? All right, we need to make our uh, launch fuel. I I was ready for this. I thought I was anyway. Uh, metal plating. Okay, that's all we need. Let's see. We'll make two. So, one, two. Beautiful. And once we get a, uh, a better ship that has launch, you know, thruster upgrades and stuff like that, it'll be easier. Up, oh, we're going north. Oh, there's some stuff over here. Don't fly too fast. Again, like in the last episode, you don't want to go too, too fast. Oh, look at this. We have a uh, drop pod there. What is this over here? What are you? Oh, shelter. Duh. Okay. But we do have a drop pod so we can improve our, uh, our suit size. So we can get more inventory space. We do need to make nanotubes. We need to make a, can we make a housing? We need more oxygen. Oh, God. Can we find more oxygen around here? That's a hard one. I mean, I think all this stuff gives me oxygen. There you go. But not that much, though. They give me, like, one. So I need to find some plants. Any plants? Any oxygen plants around here? No, of course not. I had to use all my oxygen. Oh, there's one. I'd use all my oxygen to freaking fix my upgrades. Definitely need a shield. The better, the better shields you have, the less often your uh, your upgrades will break. So let's do this, and then we. I think we have our sodium nitrate. I think you only need ten, and I have thirteen. Oh, let's get in here, get some health upgrade or health recharge. There we go. Give me a microprocessor. And did I get an ion battery? Okay, I did get an ion battery. That's great, I guess. Let's see. Antimatter housing, yes. Sodium nitrate 10. Yes, we have it all. We're good. I was worried about the sodium nitrate. I mean, I could just refine it. It's not that big of a deal. Um, We need to fill up the center. That way I can at least square off my inventory. You guys know how it is. Got to have everything nice and cleaned up and squared off, not just this random hodgepodge of stuff. 
All right, did that. Let's see. Do you see anything? I don't see anything. Looking for another crashed ship location. That would be really good. No? Oh, there's something over here. I'm trying to keep my eyes peeled. Again, just, you know, going slow and slow. Trying to find some crash ships or a beacon. Don't need that. I mean, theoretically, I could just land and, uh, and grab the green boxes, but I'm not too worried about that yet. No. Nothing there. Can we? Yeah. Nope. Yeah. Well, we're in need chromatic metal. Oh, there's a trading uh, outpost. We can't go to that. I wish. Can't go there, though. Let's go over here. What is this? We're just going to kind of zigzag around a little bit. Nothing. Nope, just a uh, little save icon. That's fine. I see this big old area over here. Usually there's something. If it's going to be all like flat and stuff, you'd think they'd put something there. But nothing. I'm not seeing anything. Nothing. Come on, nothing. What are you? We might be able to land at you. You are just a sea beacon. Okay, let's see. I see a green box. It might be broken though. I hate the ones that are broken. That's a waste. Like this one right here. Dang it. It is broken. That's all right. There's a, a buried tech over here. Let's grab that. Get some cash. Got some nanites. That's fine. Give me that cash. Nothing. Nothing. What the heck? Did I miss something over here? I don't remember. I, I didn't see that. That didn't load in. A transmission tower. We can't go there, but it didn't load in. What the heck was that? Maybe I'm flying too fast. I need to slow down, you guys. That way, everything gives it a chance to load in. Corvax casing. We don't need that. I need some uh, microprocessors. Come on. Ten percent. We're gonna have to fill this back up again. That way we have it. Is that a settlement over here? I see something. What is that? Oh, yeah, hey, uh, that is a settlement. There you go. Just took a second to load in. Good lord. I was wondering. I was like, man, that looks really funky. Nothing. Get a little higher. Not too high. What are you? Another crashed ship. That would be awesome. That is a... What is that? Just a save beacon. It does have a green box on it. Oh, got it. Basically on the ground anyway. Might as well use it, right? Oh, it has two. It has three. Oh, just two. Just two. One's broken. Dang it. I was going to say a three green box location. That'd be awesome. Really? Green boxes are just giving batteries now all of a sudden. 
And a jelly. Okay, I'll take a jelly. Jelly's useful. Get some more oxygen since we used up the rest of ours earlier. Cargo drop. Come on. Nothing? Viking effigy. Man, we're going to have a whole bunch of effigies. A whole bunch of everything except for what we need. The microprocessor. Get this one. Nope. And Gek Relic. How many do we have of those? Two of those Gek Relics. Corvax casing. Good lord. Yeah, if one of these guys wants to land, that'd be great. This is a damage machine. Are you going to give me an upgrade, right? I would love it if you gave me an upgrade. That would help me out a ton. Give me a cold upgrade or a hot upgrade or a shield upgrade. That would be good for my suit. Toxic upgrade. I mean, not, not exactly what I wanted, but hey, an upgrade's an upgrade. I have toxic protection now, so I can go down to uh, toxic planets and not worry about it. So that'll be good in the future. You know, it's hard to find those. Like, I can't buy them from a space station because I can't go to a space station. So that's pretty nice to have. Pretty nice to have. Not right now. Not useful right now, but, you know, in the future, we'll be ready. This. Condensed carbon like crazy. It takes 30% of our launch fuel. Oof. That's hard. That's harsh. Okay, we're heading north. Just slow and steady. Come on. What is right below me? Is it just a tree? It looks like it's just a tree. Okay, just a tree. Thought it was something important. I was like, oh, there's a, there's a uh, crashed ship right there or something. Nope. Nada. Something over here. You're not going to be a crash? Uh, I don't think so. Just a uh, CV. Oh, nope. It's a marketplace. A com ball right there. This is good. It has a green box on it. Come on. My health back. Get one of these. Get that cleared out. Yeah, we got one microprocessor, so we just need one more. One more. I'm feeling really good about this, you guys. One more. I don't want to make just one landing for one little thing. I want to look around a little bit. Do we have any cargo? Uh, I guess we're doing that one over there. Cargo drop. Just to make sure, you know, it's like, okay, you know, I'm not stopping for one, you know, one box. Oh, this is a good one. There we go. Battery. Okay. I know I need a Atlas Pass for that. 
Can you give me a microprocessor? Yes! Oh, we got both of the microprocessors we needed. So now it is time to get the heck out of here. We can go to a better place. Convergence cube. We do need to find a an advanced mining laser. An advanced mining beam. Oh, see, we have two of them in there. One in there. Take that. And put that in there. Yeah, we got so much, so much stuff in here. All right. Oh yeah, I think we need. <laughs> we need chromatic metal. We need copper now. Oh crap! I forgot about that. Oh, uh, I should have been grabbing that before. I landed by so many copper deposits. Is there one up here. Copper deposit. While we're out and about, got to get that copper. So I also want to get some more copper so I can make an, a weapon for my multi-tool. Because if we go to a, uh, like a corrupted system, I'm going to need to shoot the resonators. And that is going to take an actual, like, weapon. <laughs> so need to do that. I could use my mining beam, but it's going to be really slow right now. I don't have a good mining beam on me. So we're definitely going to have to get a really good uh, weapon for now. And then once we get our uh, Sentinel multi-tool, it'll be really easy. We'll be able to get some stuff going on there. So, oh yeah, it'll be easy enough. This going. Put that down. Start refining while we're here. And 125 already! Already 125. We're almost there. So I believe it's 100 chromatic metal for a bolt caster for your basic weapon. And I would say bolt caster is the best weapon in the game once you get all your upgrades. Like if you could only fit like one little weapon with no upgrades, I would say scatter blaster for sure because it does the most damage immediately. However, if you have really good upgrades, the uh, bolt caster will do more damage over time. And always putting that in there and then get rid of it. Do we have any copper nearby? Silver. Cargo drop down there. Silver deposit. Ooh, what's that? Is that a beacon yeah it is you can see it's a beacon there we are nope nope a buried cache let's go get this buried cache it might have a good upgrade in it these will have randomized items so you never know what it is until you open it up let's see what do we get we got a record open it and we got nanites it looks like Yep, we got nanites out of there. That's fine. I'm going to have... I have over 1,000 nanites at this point. I have... Ooh, 1,051. So we're going to be able to get a, an upgrade or two. There we go. All right. So now we have enough. 1260 or 63. How much do we need for a bolt caster? Yep, we need 100. So we need 63, we need 163, and I don't have that much. I only have 100. But we're getting close. We're close enough to where I just need a little bit more of, uh, a little bit more copper, and we'll be good. Maybe we'll land on a planet that'll give me just chromatic metal as a secondary item. That'd be great. Oh, okay, fine. here oxygen oxygen's always good now there is a uh, let's before we go we'll do one last check maybe we can get a uh, cold upgrade out of here that would be awesome wouldn't it as we leave we can get a cold upgrade come on cold upgrade Nanites, that's fine. That's fine.
That's my hauler. Someone's flying the same model over here. Let's go around. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, you didn't see anything. You did not see anything. Let's fix this thing. So we need our three microprocessors and chromatic metal. So we're also going to need a little bit of chromatic metal. That's the only reason why I didn't really do anything with it to, like, make my uh, multi-tool my bolt caster. Because we need to make some antimatter. We can make three. Okay. We need antimatter. What? Oh, ferrite dust. Okay, I guess we could do this. So, let's move some of this stuff over there. Over there. So we can just shoot the ground and get a whole bunch of ferrite dust. So that's why we're going to do it this way. So as we're running around... Oh, I don't have a photon cannon! Are you serious? Oh, I don't have a photon cannon. Well, never mind. Scratch that. Scratch that. I thought I had a photon cannon. I'm so used to having everything ready to go that I just didn't even think about it. I'm like, oh, man. Okay, I guess... So, no. We need to get out and actually do it. <laughs> oh, no. That was a waste of launch fuel. Didn't even think about it. Didn't even dawn on me. I'm like, oh, I got it. I totally have it. No, you don't, actually. Give me all this ferrite dust. Boom, boom, boom. Beautiful, beautiful. We need three of them. Two. We need... Oh, my God. We're going to need a lot of ferrite dust. All right. That's why I wanted to shoot it from uh, from the air. But that's not possible. Dang it. I can't believe I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Uh, so, hopefully, we don't get in a fight because I won't be able to shoot anyone. I literally don't have anything I can use to defend myself. That's not good. That is not good at all. Holy cow. Definitely gonna have to get some, uh. You know what? We should probably fix our bolt cannon or our uh, photon cannon. Because if we do get in a fight, I mean, I have a shield. I don't have any weapons, though. So. I have another one, too. There we go. So the rest of it goes in here. Let me, let me cook. Wait a minute. Yep, grab the right one. Cook this up. Pure ferrite. So now we can make some warp cells. And we're up to 50%. Whew, man. And we need sodium nitrate and pure fairy. Do I have sodium to refine? I do. Okay, thank God. And I'm refining my, my uh, pure ferrite. I need 50 and I'm making 63. I think we're good. Yeah, or 72. I thought it was higher than that. All right. 35. Um, oh yeah, we're good. That'll give me 30. I mean, I could technically just destroy this upgrade. And that'll be fine, because I'll get my stuff out of here. You know what? I think that's what we're going to do. Because I can get my chromatic metal, sodium nitrate, and a wiring loom. And I believe my fighter has... Some stuff. I'm going to need to get some uh, pure ferrite for that as well. Like, yeah, look at that. Boom. All right. But he has... Look at that. Shield. All right. So my hauler is going to be what I'm using all the time. But I wanted to just call him in for my sh it's shield. So now I could do this. Where'd the shield go? There you are. Um... I guess. Yeah, we'll put that over there. So now I have a shield. I have a little bit more shield strength. Oh, no. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Here we are. Here we are. The Omen of Ether. Let's see if I can do anything with this. Hermetic Seal. Metal Plating. I think I can. Oh, no. I don't have any. Uh... I can make a Hermetic Seal. 
I need metal plating. I also need uh, dihydrogen jelly and pure ferrite. So I need a lot more ferrite dust. I need di dihydrogen jelly. I want to fix it that way. Later on, I can totally go through and get it all justified. So if I want to, I can scrap my hauler and use my fighter, my green fighter. There we go. Whole bunch of ferrite dust. Oh, there's my crystals down here. This is what I need. Beautiful. We can also collect some more for our launch fuel. So we don't have any radiate or we don't have any uranium yet. Uranium is the better option, but you know, use what you got while you have it. We need to make one metal plating and the rest of this can turn into pure ferrite. I mean, not the rest of it, but you know what I mean? I need 50. Oh yeah. Basically the rest of it because <laughs> I only had 20 to begin with. All right. Boom, boom. Make a jelly. Repaired, repaired, repaired and I should have just picked it up. I'm so used to having to go in here. They used to force you. You couldn't destroy it unless you it was empty. So you technically would get it all back, but it didn't really matter. The game just didn't register it. All right. Yep, I think we're good. All right, so that thing is fixed. We can call that in whenever we need to now. It doesn't have any shields or anything, but that's, you know, that's what we, we don't need anything else. So we're good. And we can jump to a different system. So we're going to take a guess. What seems like a pirate system around here? Anything seem like a pirate system? That does not look very piratey at all. No. We know that one's not. We're there already. Um, we have a dissident system right here. Okay, let's go here. Now, there's a, a small chance this is a pirate system. Usually they're not. But you never know. So let's just go here. Now that we can, it's a dissident system. We can start farming and getting stuff done in here, which is good. Oh, hopefully it's not a high combat system because I don't want to deal with that. It does not look like a pirate system at all. It is a normal space station. Dang it. I was kind of hoping. I mean, you know, I knew the odds were not in my favor though, so it's not a big deal. Let's see, parched does not have our stuff. All right, we cannot follow any of the missions, but I can't answer the call. I just can't follow any of the storyline or anything like that. I can't use any of the items from the storyline, anything like that. The only storyline you can kind of follow is the pirate storyline, the outlaw storyline. But that you only follow that until you get to a pirate system. You can't use any of the items or anything they give you. No, no. I guess this is a corrupted planet. No. Really? Where's my corrupted planet at? I do not have a corrupted planet. Is this system all jacked up? Is it? Um, yeah, it does not say corrupted anymore. What the crap? All right. Well, that's always disappointing. However, there is a bladed planet here. I can scan the animals in this planet, you know, get a whole bunch of uh, nanites for it. Not a big deal. I was hoping maybe possibly we can have a dissonant planet, but I guess not. We're not allowed to have good things on this run. I mean, you know, I did use up all my luck earlier. So yeah, it makes kind of, it makes some sense. Photon. I thought I fixed my photon cannon. Did I not? Oh, you dork. I was so distracted. I didn't even fix my photon cannon. Well, thank God I didn't get into a fight. That would have been bad. All right. We're at the bladed planet and look at this right here. Boom. There we go. And I can turn that in for 250 nanites. Beautiful. Awesome, guys. Well, hopefully you guys liked this episode. If you did, hit that like button. And I will see you guys in the next video.